I haven't made a YouTube video in a really long time. Well, no, I think my last upload was about Nipsey's death. So now I'm talking about Juice World. I'm I'm not like one of those people that be like, okay, can you see the Illuminati circle around his dread? I'm not talking about that. I'm just gonna talk about how everyone probably feels about Juice World's death. Like something happened. Just like we feel about all these people. That is a reason. There is a reason for that. Whoever did something to him knew that we were going to have that effect. So you just have to know that all this stuff was planned on purpose. Like, I don't care. They wanted us to be sad about his death. And they knew that people were going to be like, what the hell? I haven't even seen all like the news and stuff about it or anything. I just saw one Shade Room post. Saying that the guy, Juice World, passed away from a seizure. No, ma'am. I just don't believe it. You know, and then that's just such a lame-ass excuse. Seizure. Like, this nigga did seizures before he had those seizures. Like, I don't know. It's just far, it's just so far-fetched to me. Because I know a lot of people. Ain't nobody ever died early like that in my life. Like, you know, and then all of a sudden... I don't know, it's just, I don't know. I know it sounds crazy, what I'm saying. It's just like, what does that have to do with anything? But these people in media are dying at alarming rates and at really young ages. And the fact that they just wanted to accept these bullshit ass, oh, they had a seizure, oh, this, watch, everyone's going to be like, it was drugs. Like, that's irritating, that's disrespectful. Because everyone knows someone that's had seizures and everyone knows someone that's did thousands of countless of drugs. Just ran their body down. Older than him. Didn't pass away, didn't do nothing. Just woke back up and got high again. All of a sudden, he, I just, it, I just it's just hard to believe. That's all I'm going to say. It's hard to believe. I don't care what other facts they try to pull up. It's all made up. People be like, it was written down. Okay, so if I write down, I'm rich right now, does that, like, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. It could be in a book that I'm rich. Okay? Today it ain't happening. I might be rich in the spirit. That might be that. God has blessed me with a life, but abundance and wealth? I don't have that right now. So, okay, no. You can't just be like, oh, well, I read that he, I don't care. All that shit is fake. Something happened to that boy. That's what people need to realize. That something did happen to that boy. Worth hiding. And I just think that it's fucked up. That that's what life is turning into, you know? People are just getting kidnapped and all this bullshit and all this and all that. It's just scaring people. And shit is happening in this world that's crazy. It's not that crazy, though. We could be going through the purge, like... But at least we're not going through that. But still, it's like, don't just start killing off our black men and just thinking that we're just going to accept that shit. Rest in peace, Juice World. And I feel bad for his family. I hope they weren't in on it. If they weren't in their innocent, I feel bad for I feel bad for anyone that was involved with him that was innocent to his death. Anyone that brought about his death, I believe in karma. And I believe in Jesus. I believe in God. I believe in bad things happening to bad people. Because I used to be bad. Like, really bad. Like, always doing dumb shit. And shit started coming back to me. Like, literally the same types of shit that I was doing, too. So I knew it was karma. Because couldn't nobody tell me it was the same shit that I did. It was like, God was like, I just want you to see how it feels. Because you do random shit for no reason. So I want you to see how it feels. And, um, I don't know. But I think all my bad karma kind of went away. Because lately, I've been having kind of cool days. But anyways, I digress. Juice World. At this point, I'm kind of glad I didn't know him because 
I, I really feel like crying, but I have to realize like he's famous. We weren't close, uh, but still, it's just uh, my people, you know. And he was a dude that was trying to make his own music, or I don't even know if he was making his own music, if that was his own music, or if someone just gave him the platform and their music. I don't know. But if he did write his own music, or if he did have his own mind about his music, if he... I loved his music. It was really cool. Some songs was like, eh. But a lot of songs was like, sound cool. It was really different. I always kill the different ones. Just like XXX. But now people know. That was a wrongful death. I don't even know what actually happened to Testosterone or whatever. Uh, no disrespect to his name, but... I don't know. That's all I want to say. But I just feel bad. And... I don't think that anyone should believe in those, those fake-ass stories of these famous people just dying out of nowhere. Does it feel like you should believe it? That's all I'm going to... Does it feel like it's true? It just doesn't. And the fact that they want us to believe it. I'm about to look on YouTube and see what they say about this man. Because I know it's about to be some Illuminati stuff. That's the truth right there. Not what's on YouTube. I don't know if that's the truth. But I know that it was foul play. I know it was. I know it was. If he would have been a regular little black boy in the hood somewhere. He would have still been alive. Shooting people and all. He would have still been alive. He's rich, making probably millions of bucks, and he dies from a seizure. They always want to say health. These people are rich, so they spend a lot of money on drugs and nothing on their health. When it's easy, it's not like they got to be like, oh, I got to go work out at the gym. They could be like, hmm, let me tell Chantel to bring my human elixir. Like, I don't know. Bring my health products. They have so that they can consume. They have money and time. Their money can buy them time to go be like, you know what, I'm going to go work out. Or, you know what, I'm going to go to this place to eat right. Or, you know what, I'm going to, like, come on now. When you get rich, especially when you're black, eating healthy is one is a black person's actual thing that they want to do. That's something that they actually want to do. They have the means for it. They'd be like, mm, I want to do this because it's healthier over here. They, that's how we like to think. That's how we like to be if we can afford it. If we can't afford it, of course, you know, we have to go to the Burger King, the, Mc, the McDonald's. I don't fuck with McDonald's, but Jack in the Box, all the stuff is Carl's Jr.'s because that's what they put in our neighborhoods. Like most frequently, that's it. That's all they want us to eat. But most black people know, mm -mm, I'm going to eat healthy. Like, maybe not every day, not, not all the time. Maybe he wasn't eating raw, you know, but I'm sure he was eating some type of, like, his health was not failing, bro. What the fuck? He died from a seizure? I bet you they're going to say it says drugs. And that's sad. If he really died from a seizure, if he really died from drugs, then that's fucked up, too. And that's sad, too. But if he died from foul play and someone's trying to say it was a seizure. <laughs> there's no right in that. I feel bad for the person. I did it. I know someone did it. I feel bad for the people that. That are hiding it. I feel bad for them. Fuck everybody else. Not like that, but fuck for, uh, his, his family, everything. whoever did something foul play, I feel bad for them. For sure. For sure. For sure. And that's where everyone's thoughts need to be at. I feel bad for the person that did something bad to him. Because those thoughts we manifest will come to pass and not the thoughts that they want us to have. Oh, it's so sad. Oh, he died. Oh, he died. He's family. Oh, he was probably doing drugs. Oh, it was a seizure. Oh, what was he doing? What was he putting in his body? Oh, it was him that he made himself die. No, get the fuck out of here.